Hello guys, welcome to Healthcare Engineering YouTube channel. On our channel, we share many informative videos all about healthcare industry. Subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated. Also share our videos and channel with all your healthcare contacts, like our videos and let us know your valuable comments to show us your support. Today we are going to share you some very useful information which should be known by all healthcare professionals. Medical laboratory plays a vital role in all healthcare setups. We are going to share you important medical laboratory tests we deal in medical laboratory labs. Since we have lot of laboratory tests, we talk only a few in this part 1 video. Part 2 will be released soon. Stay tuned with us by subscribing our channel to get the all notification. Now let's go through some important common medical laboratory tests. Full blood count test. A full blood count is usually requested for patients who may be unwell and can be used to screen for issues such as anemia, infection and bleeding. No preparation is needed for this test. You can eat and drink as normal before some blood test. The FBC comprises the following test. Hemoglobin, white blood count, platelet, red blood count, mean cell volume, neutrophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophils, basophils, blood film. White blood cell count. Very high counts of abnormal white cells are encountered with leukemia. Red blood cell count. Significantly reduced numbers with any health check can be associated with anemia and very high numbers are seen in polycythemia. C-reactive protein test. Why do you need a CRP test? You may need this test if you have symptoms of bacterial infection such as fever or chills, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, nausea and vomiting. There is no need to fast or avoid liquids before having a CRP test. CRP is measured in milligrams per liter. Why do you need urine analysis? As part of your routine medical exam to screen for early signs of certain health conditions. If you are experiencing any signs and symptoms of certain health conditions such as diabetes or kidney disease. To diagnose a urinary tract infection if you have been admitted to a hospital. If one of your urinalysis test results is abnormal, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a medical condition. Several factors can affect or interfere with urinalysis test result. Certain medication and supplements, contamination of germs or other substances, error in processing of the test. Fasting blood sugar depends on three factors, eating large meals, consuming sugary foods and drinks, eating food with simple carbohydrates such as bread and sweet snacks. How to prepare for a fasting blood sugar test? For a fasting blood sugar test, do not eat or drink anything other than water for at least 8 hours before the blood sample is taken. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate test Causes of high ESR test result Older age, pregnancy, anemia, kidney disease, diabetes, heart disease, blood or vascular disease, blood vessel inflammation, thyroid disease. Causes of low ESR test result Congestive heart failure, low plasma protein, leukocytosis, sickle cell anemia, polycythemia. Lipid profile test. Why get tested? A lipid profile test is required to identify the symptoms associated with abnormal levels of lipid. The test is also performed to evaluate the success of a treatment for a diet control program or check the effectiveness of drug therapy. The test results are helpful in diagnosis, monitoring as well as prevention of numerous medical conditions. Thyroid function test. The thyroid is butterfly shaped gland located in the front part of your neck. Its job is to produce thyroid hormones which travel through your bloodstream and regulate many aspects of your body's metabolism including temperature, weight and energy. Glucose tolerance test. The glucose tolerance test, also known as the oral glucose tolerance test, measure your body's response to sugar. 
kidney function test kidney function test a urine or blood test that evaluate how well your kidneys are working most of these tests measure glomerular filtration rate liver function test why do you need liver function testing jaundice a condition that causes your skin and eyes to turn yellow nausea and vomiting diarrhea abdominal pain dark colored urine light colored stool fatigue what to do first to prepare for the test you may need to fast for 10 to 11 hours before the test pregnancy test a pregnancy test can tell whether you are pregnant by checking a sample of your urine or blood for a specific hormone the hormone is called hcg fecal occult blood test what is it used for A fecal occult blood test is commonly used as a screening test to help find colorectal cancer before you have symptoms. The test also has other uses. It may be done when there is concern about bleeding in the digestive tract from other conditions. HbA1c test. HbA1c test is a simple blood test. that measures your average blood sugar levels over the past 3 months what happens when hba1c is high high a1c levels are sign of high blood glucose from diabetes diabetes can cause serious health problems including heart disease kidney disease and nerve damage what is antigen testing dengue NS1 is detectable during the acute phase of dengue virus infection. How long do dengue antibodies last? About 3 months. What is malaria parasite test? Malaria parasite test identifies the presence of the malaria parasite in your blood. What does malaria parasite positive means? If your test result show positive then you may be infected with the malaria parasite. The hepatitis virus panel is a series of blood tests used to detect current or past infection by hepatitis A, hepatitis B or hepatitis C. Thank you for watching our video. The part 2 of this concept will be released soon. Check the i button above for the new release of the next part. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.